gloves. Beauty. I am starting the demolition of the basement stuff today because everyone that I'm counting on or waiting on to uh, progress other projects is taking their <laughs> very, very sweet time. Like, we're talking Skittles level of sweet here. The guy from the engineering place that's going to look at all my stuff is supposed to be coming by today. I'm supposed to also be getting my bin dropped off today, so I actually have somewhere to put all this stuff. But it's two o'clock and I'm not hearing from anyone's and I just, I gotta get to work on something. Can't just be sitting around anymore. Gonna move all of this stuff into the back area. We're gonna have a little bit of additional recording up here from the stream. Once I get all of this stuff out, then it's make sure all the electrical for this bottom area is shut off, which could be interesting because my panel's kind of a little bit sketchy. And then once the electrical is definitely off, and I can just kind of go hard. And I'll make probably a big pile in the middle so that whenever the bin does show up, then I can just like haul it up out the stairs and get going. I was just about to say they did me a favor and put everything on one circuit for the plugs, but you no. Know, so I got this one and this one down here. Let's see what we can do about finding where those go. I've got two outlets here that I can't do anything with yet because I can't see where the circuit goes, so I can't turn it off in the main panel. But from about here on, I can remove all of the wood paneling I can remove all of the framing. I can remove all of the ceiling tile except for like these two because that light is bordering those two. And this one, same deal with the light, but all the wood paneling can come out, the bulkhead for the ductwork can come out, and especially all the carpet can come out. So I'm gonna start with the carpet and then have at her with the wood paneling.
sometimes when your plans are not working out very easily, it can be great to just take a minute, come back with a bigger hammer, and feel like you got something done. Oh yeah! Home Depot will price beat by 10% any local competitor's price. They will match any online price, but they will beat by 10% any local competitor. Now the trick of that is, and they know that, that they do this and they do it intentionally, so it's not like you're pulling one over on them. They are beating, oh, that's a coin. That's a real coin. They're beating the, the advertiser's price. So they match it and they beat it by 10%. They're not beating it by 10% of the difference, which is what places like Memory Express do. They beat by 10%. So if you find a fridge, Wild Rose, a Seculaire, Alberta, 1905. Say for example, you wanna buy a $2,000 fridge and Home Depot has it for like $19.99. If you can find a place where this fridge is up for $19.98.99, one cent less, a literal one cent difference, Home Depot will match that price and they'll beat it by 10%. So by being able to find a local competitor with an advertised price, one cent less, you can save $200 on that fridge. How do I know this works? Because I did it for those. Uh, there's a, a site called Canadian Appliances. All of their prices that I've been able to see for products that Home Depot also carries are one cent less. I saved 150 bucks on each of those. Washer and dryer, saved 300 bucks total by finding this one site and saying, look, Home Depot, these guys have it for one cent less. You beat that, you have my sale. Here we go, Alberta 1805. Real estate investor tip. If you wanna make sure you get the house that you need when you need it, do not wait for your real estate agent to bring it to you. I got this house the day it came on market because I was watching the listings, I was set up on the search, I was checking the searches, and I got my agent to get me in as fast as possible. If I hadn't, I would have missed this house. And basically everyone who's looked at this house, who's looked at the numbers says, I'm gonna do just fine. As long as I can get the work done, I will be doing just fine. But do not wait for your real estate agent to bring it to you. You gotta be on it. Seriously? Everything that was on the ceiling and walls is now on the floor. It's, it's a lot of material. I might call it here until I can get this stuff cleared out. If I can get it all cleared out, then I'll feel like I actually fully accomplished a removal in the basement.
I got maybe about a third of the total space that I want to get demolished here done last night. And uh, part of that was I didn't have a bin until right near the end of, of the the available knee stamina of the seal oh, that I had. And then part of that was just, I got tired. Honestly, the, the knee pain was, was holding me back a lot. Going up those stairs with a hurt knee is not a lot of fun. But I did get to a super short notice visit to the doctor in today, and that was great. And they've got me set up for physio starting tomorrow. And then also they said that I can use the topical pain medication that I was given for my shoulder on my knee, and that actually seems to be helping. Here's hoping today I can go a lot longer and a lot further and get a lot more done. We're gonna start first with cleaning up some of the carpet stuff here especially because I managed to get my tools that I was missing out from my storage unit yesterday. This little scrapey guy, he's your friend. And of course the broom and the dustpan. I am not gonna pick up all these bits by hand. We're gonna start with that and then gonna get going on with the stream and with the more tear stuff down. So, here we go. I forgot to say, finally went and got myself a proper respirator. No more of these goofy disposable N95s. Uh, by 3M, the 8210s, they're actually pretty good. But this is much better. And it fits, and it's proper. And it took me like an hour and a half to go and get it. <laughs> so, yay that I have that, but it did put off a good chunk of the rest of my day. And then also I had to get to the doctor, so it, uh, I'm starting late. Plus it's fun to just toss things. Sony what? I just plugged you in. Really, Sony? What the heck? Why? Why are you griefing me like this? Demo mode, there we go, off. Nobody saw that. So I've got basically all the carpet and underlayment up. Underlayment's ready to haul out. Next is taking off the rest of these panels. I'm gonna leave the furring strips for a little bit later. But I wanna get all of these panels off the ceiling tiles so that I can figure out where the electrical for that plug and that plug are because it is not in the same circuit as that plug and all the rest that were along that way. Once I know where that wiring is, I can trace it back to the main panel and I can disconnect it at the main panel. Then I can tear out the rest of this paneling and then I can tear out the rest of the framing and then really the last and most miserable part of the job will actually be the furring strips so I'll probably leave that to the last. Yeah recording like I'm a real youtuber. All right a couple more trips and then get back at her. Pitter patter.
I gotta give whoever built this section of the basement at least a little bit of credit. Nobody doing infills or foots in Calgary is bothering to actually bring the air returns in the basement down to the floor. Bringing the air return in the basement down to the floor is the right way to do it because then you are pulling your air up from the bottom and pushing it in from the other end of the room. What people are doing instead is they just have the, the air return and the heat typically in just about the same spot. So I don't have any insulation down here, but I have proper air circulation. Hey, I'm wearing glasses for the first time. Came back down here to reshoot this while I was editing because I realized I really didn't explain very well what was going on and also you couldn't really hear me very well through the mask either but basically you want to have your cold air returns at the bottom of the room and your heat ducts at the bottom of the room too so that when you are pushing your hot air in the hot air comes in and it rises and any of the cooler air that might be just sort of in the middle of the room or at the top of the room is going to be pushed down by the hot air that's rising and then your cold air return that's pulling your cold air out of the room is at the bottom instead of pulling warm air from the ceiling out of the room and then you are not really heating the cooler air you're just recirculating the warmer air so always put your cold air returns at the bottom of the room and put your heat vents at the bottom of the room too. So we're starting today off with the food vlog again. Got another cliff bar. And then right away after that, and I think the furnace just started, right away after that, we're gonna be trying to figure out exactly which of these cables is feeding that outlet. So it'll be headlamp on and flipping breakers until that light goes out. Once that light is out, then I can go and pull everything out of there that's feeding those and then I can get to work on the rest of the demolition. So let's get me my cliff bar. Food vlogger, just multitask a little bit. I can flip breakers while I chew. Bingo. Now, just because this light went off, that doesn't mean I'm 100% confident in this old wiring. So I got my line tester, not really a line tester, voltage tester. So I've got my voltage tester here, and we should be good to go. So I think it's this guy, we're under there, under there, yeah, so we're definitely this guy. Now if I wanted to be a real cowboy about things, I could just cut this one and leave the live ends hanging to deal with later. But that's kind of poor form. Okay, we're at no bueno. It means I have to run upstairs and get new connectors. That's that one, that's for the black one, that's for the black one, and this one also no bueno. Oh wait, no, holy cow, okay, wow, this is neat. Hold on, I'm gonna get that one out of the trash. This is really, really cool. Wow, I've never even heard of something like this. 
it makes really good sense. But man, these must have been expensive to make. So this, this is not a typical twist morette. Usually what I'm used to seeing as far as morettes go is you twist the wires together and then you twist the morette on and then you're done. This is actually a threaded, oh man, that's tight, I'm not surprised. So this is actually a threaded screw inside the housing and it's meant to come apart like that to be two different pieces. So you put your wires through flat and then you tighten this screw down and then after that's done, then you go and put this cover on. That's so cool. It's so old, but it's so cool. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before. So that's that one done. I can put this, this one back on because why not? So now that that's tightened, then this cover just threads on. That's so neat. Well, I can cut that one shorter. And this one. And I can remove this ground here. Now this should come out. There we go. This guy screwed back on. Strip a little bit of fresh end off these two. Put them in here. Clamp them in. Screw that on. Push those in because it's good practice. And that should be it. Then back over to here we find the hopefully only breaker that's uh, that's off right here. Turn it back on, and we have lights. And the final real truest test. Okay, what did I cut then? That comes along here, goes along there. It's the only silver one. Comes through there, is underneath. I wonder if it's just detecting induced current from being smacked up right beside that other one. Because it's either that or there's something else really funky going on in the walls here. Dude, it's from a movie. Corgi 007. In a focus. Let me see that. And then we got this little little car here. But they're all broken cars too. You know what that means? I know what this is. Someone, so there would have been two kids. I sure hope there would have been two kids because if this was done by an adult, it's horrible. One of the kids would have destroyed the cars that belonged to the other kid and then didn't want to get caught. They would rather think they would rather have everyone think that the cars were just lost. So they went and hid them. Because if they put them in the garbage, then maybe mom and dad would find the cars in the garbage and then they would have been able to follow up on it. I bet that's what it was. One of the kids broke the toys of the other kid and hid the evidence. To give you an idea of how not insulated these cables are, here's my voltage tester. I'm like at least eight inches away from any of these lines. I'm gonna get superpowers from the amount of EM radiation going on in here.
So the difficulty I'm running into right now is do I start doing stairs and wear my knee out? Or do I start doing furring strips and wear my knee out? I really hope I can get it all done today. So all I'm doing here is lifting it up what I can and then getting this shim under it. And that gives me room to work the pry bar down a little further and then it all comes up. Pro tip, use mechanics to your advantage. Like I said, it was disconnected. Just there's got to be no insulation value in these old cables. Whoop, oh, don't do that. There's nails that'll stab me. If you've ever struggled with getting 2x4s out of a top or bottom plate, here's a little trick. The trick is not to hit it really hard. The trick is you pull it till one of the nails comes loose. I don't know if you heard that pop. And then you go the other way. It's now sitting on top of the other nail and using that leverage to come out. So I'll show you again on the next one over. Pull it off, pop, and it also works for the top, pop, and then out. So if you've ever just tried to just pull and it doesn't want to go very easily, there's an easy trick. Okay, that was the whoops. This has no support. That's what I get for not thinking stuff through.
time. And see how much of that I can get into one more trip of this. <laughs> it's a plague. Don't know what for tomorrow. I'm, I'm in a little bit too much pain to really figure it out. I'm, I'm not even gonna go and get a bar and do a, a food blogger joke. <laughs> <laughs>